This video is about the SCP wiki, more specifically the process of getting something on the wiki. There are people like Sumerian and DJ Cactus that say it's easy to write for the SCP wiki or that the site has low standards, and I've seen many people share sentiments directly opposite that. I want to write an SCP, so I decided to see how easy or hard it is to get a successful SCP written by me on the site through the proper channels. Let this not be a guide or an outline, but rather just showing the process from beginning to end. Full disclosure, this is technically not my first SCP. I tried twice before, but failed both times, once getting an article on the site for it to be downloaded and taken down only a few days later. I feel it is worth knowing my credentials, if you could call it that, so it's a bit more clear where I am with the SCP wiki universe and fandom. I consider myself to be deep into SCP, reading newer articles as they come out, typically only reading one a day and that one being whichever was the highest rate in the last 30 days area. I've been invested in SCP to varying degrees since 2012, and yes I admit I first caught interest in it because of Containment Breach, but now I much prefer the actual science stories of it. I still enjoy the SCP games like Secret Laboratory and Unity Breach, videos like Confinement and Now Vending, readings like The Vulcan and Brendaniel, art like that of Sunny Clockwork and A-Type Corp, and so on. I would probably still be considered more a part of the satellite community than the site community since I rarely directly participate. I still feel like I have enough SCP nerd cred, if that matters to you. This video is separated into near daily logs, record the morning after each date. I started this process exactly on December 1st, and I am writing this intro on December 20th. I would wait longer, but I wanted this video to be finished sometime in the new year. Now, let's begin. Okay, so today is uh, day three of SCP authoring. I only had the idea just now, so I didn't do a log for day one or two, but I'll go over them for cohesion's sake, I guess. So the first day, I posted my SCP idea on the Ideas Critique Forum, and three and a half hours later, I got a response by ZBC, who said that they liked it, but didn't really give a whole lot beyond that. They didn't have the qualifications for Greenlight, so that didn't count, but Zin pops in to request them to be more specific, and remind me that I can go to the IRC or contact the Butterfly Squad member. So that was my first day, I just posted it and left it there for most of the day. I believe I posted it like in the middle of the day, so it was there for about 6 hours before I went to bed or something. At uh, day 2, I went to the Critters IRC chat, seeking critique, and I received a fair amount of critique from Gloomy. But again, he didn't have the qualifications for a green light, so that also didn't count. But it was valuable critique either way. He helped me specify some minor things, figure out what would be more creepy, and just add little tiny bits to it. It was helpful. I appreciate it. Thanks, Gloomy. Day 3. I edited my idea post to match with the critique that I got yesterday and I messaged Dyslexion of the Butterfly Squad, specifically him because he has a preference towards new authors and concepts. So uh, I haven't heard back from him yet. It is currently, it's actually day four, it's just that it's 3 a.m. on day four. I haven't heard back from him yet. I uh, hope it's too soon, but I am not sure on that. Day 4 of uh, SCP First Author Experience. I didn't do anything of note today because I didn't have a whole lot of time on my computer. I was uh, about most of the day and it's been real busy. I didn't get a response from Dyslexion yet, but that's fine. It's been a day. But I do want to just take this moment to uh, sort of explain something because I feel like if this skip ends up either not on the site or on the site and then taken down, there's going to be a lot of people going, oh well it got taken down because it was bad, you obviously just need to write better. And I'm not trying to say that it's 
perfect. I don't even have a draft for it yet, but concept-wise, I'm not trying to say that it's amazing. Let me uh, point out why I think it's good, why I personally think it's good. It's sort of supposed to be in that sort of body horror, grotesque feeling, you know? Where uh, it's sort of like with Junji Ito, or in Bloodborne, or uh, anything like that where it's more horror of the human body being deformed as scary than anything. And it's a, a completely different kind of horror from what most of the site has. It appears every now and again, but most of the time you get existential horror or cosmic horror, stuff like that. This is much more human horror, or at least I'm trying to have it be a more human horror. And a whole idea there is that it's uh, something that is completely natural taken to an extreme that shows how gross and horrifying it can be. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I personally find newborn babies, like, immediately after coming out of the womb to be pretty creepy. They're still covered in, like, blood and pus and everything. They're crying really loudly of likely pain. They have a fleshy string attached to them. It, it's freaky to me. And I feel like this SCP would stand well alongside things like Laugh is Fun or Cousin Johnny. Both SCPs that I really like. So I just wanted to explain sort of why I think this is the uh, SCP that I want to go with. For this, anyways. If it gets taken down because it's bad, that's fine, obviously. I just want to point out that this is why I think that it's good, and a lot of people are going to think that their ideas are good coming into this when they are first an author, even if it isn't actually good. Alright, today is day 5 of the SCP author first time experience, and today I messaged another Barfly member since Dyslexion still hasn't gotten back to me. Cypress QID is who I messaged, and within like an hour or two, they responded. They asked a few questions that basically I explained in the last of the point of it all, and they gave me a green light, so there's one. I need to in order to get to the draft point, and that's much quicker than I anticipated. I'm very thankful of that, so let's hope that the next one will be as smooth. I have to be somewhat quiet because I have company over right now and they're sleeping. But today is day six, I believe, of the SCP author first time experience. And today I messaged another member of the Butterfly Squad, and they responded within like 8 hours, something like that. And then another 8 hours later they, because they posted saying, hey I'll get to this in 16 hours, and then like 8 hours later they said what they actually thought. And I got my second green light. It's rock teeth moth eyes that gave me the second green light. So that's wonderful. So now I am going to try to spend a portion of today writing up my first draft, and then probably tomorrow post it. I'm saying today and tomorrow because it's actually like 4am on the seventh day. Alright, again I need to be quiet because there are people sleeping in just the other room. Uh, today is day 7 of the SCP author first time, whatever I decide to call this. Today I spent a lot of time writing my first draft, which should be on screen now. I uh, spent like 5 or 6 hours on it, something like that, and I think it's come out okay. There's some areas that I'm not really sure on, but that I can live with. I think it's a good first draft. Tomorrow I intend on sending it to 10 close friends and revising it based on their feedback. I want to note that these 10 friends are not SCP writers. Only like 2 or 3 of them are fans of SCP, and the rest only have a passing knowledge. So they are largely just close friends. 
Some of them are writers, though. Not SCP writers, but writers. So uh, that's just something to consider. Alright, today is day 8 of the SCP New Author Experience, and I spent today messaging 10 friends trying to get their feedback on my first draft just before I post it to make sure there isn't any glaringly obvious things. I get basically no good feedback. Some of them didn't even respond, so that wasn't super useful. But tomorrow I'm going to be posting it on the drafts forum to hopefully get critique from actual SCP authors. My current plan, I think, is to post it tomorrow and then on that same day message the two people who gave me green lights and see if they can help critique it. Today is Monday, so I think I'll probably try posting it to the main site on Friday or Thursday. Let's hope for the best. SCP first author experience. I posted my draft on the drafts critique forum and I messaged the two people who gave me my green light. One of them made a placeholder comment saying that they'll read it tomorrow, so I'm still weighing on that. But otherwise, nothing has really happened. I think if nothing continues to happen through today, or tomorrow rather, then I will. Uh, message a few more people get their opinions on the draft. That's my dog. He's a good boy. But yeah, today I posted my draft on the drafts critique forum and messaged the two people who gave me my green light. One of them put a placeholder comment saying that they'll get to it tomorrow. That's fine. And the other one hasn't responded. So not immediate progress, but progress. Today is day 10 of the SCP New Author Experience, and surprisingly a lot of progress was made. Cypress QID followed up and uh, provide a lot of critique that was very useful. And I added the draft to match, and Rock Teeth Moth Eyes put in a placeholder saying that he'll get to it soon. I also replied to Cypress QID with my reasoning on some of it, and they responded with more thoughts that makes it even clearer and will definitely help improve the article. So that's wonderful. I was really worried that I wasn't going to get a whole lot done, but this, this helps a lot. Probably not going to do anything tomorrow or the 11th because I am going to be out and about most of the day. But I imagine that Frog Tooth Moth Eyes will probably get back to me. I might be able to edit the draft slightly in order to match with Cypress QID's second response. And today was a good day. I'm surprised. Hey, so this is the day 12 vlog. I forgot to do one yesterday. I've been really busy lately is all. Very sorry about that. But luckily nothing much has been happening. Rock Teeth Moth Eyes got back to me with his critique, which was largely just praise, which makes me happy. I'm glad that's coming along. There were a few things that he pointed out that are like weirdly grammar stuff, but largely he seemed to really like it. And that makes me happy. So I'm going to tweak what little bit there is that he suggested I do, and I've said this like two logs in a row, but hopefully get into IRC so that I can swap it around, get live feedback. Let's hope I actually have the time to do that today. This is the SCP New Author Log for day 13, and today was a really productive day. I went to the IRC and requested feedback, and two different people got back to me and provided some more critique on it. Varying things that I didn't catch on, a few generic spelling mistakes, but quite a few things that I'm very glad that they noticed, because I certainly didn't. I also had a third person say when I'm done revising according to uh, their critique, to send him a message and he'll take a look at it. And I think after that, I'm going to post it because that's five critters now. I feel like that's enough. I feel like it's getting pretty close to finish.
Okay, this is the log for day 14 as well as 15 because like I said, I do them early in the day of the next day. Uh, to recap what happened yesterday, I messaged the guy that was in the chat that said, hey, I'll look at when you're done adding for these guys. He did, and almost all of his critiques were on like typos and little wording things. So now that it's been looked at by, I think, six people, have been working on it for like 15 days. I think I am going to now post it to the site. And so this daily log is going to be extended. I changed the title so that it's the proper capitalization, SCP-4174. And copy everything minus the last few lines that are just out of character nonsense. Replace XXXX with 4174, place all, paste that in, a preview to make sure that that all works right. I think it is good to post and save. So now I need to do the author comment. While that's going, I will pull up the announcement form now. Okay, new post. Oh wait, I forgot to change the series 5 thing. 4174, edit, find 4174, place that with mother of many, which in hindsight is a bit of a lame name. Alright, that's saving, and post. I just realized that I forgot to add a rating module as well, my bad, edit. And that adds the rank module. All right, and I should also message each of these people. Oh yeah, I never heard back from Dyslexion, did I? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, next, I should message each of them to let them know that it's up. Let me refresh the page and see if it's changed at all. It's now at plus two, so that's good. I think I am done. All right, sitting fairly comfortably at plus two right now. Now all we can do is hope for the best. I am going to cut this off here, but I will uh, be recording more uh, later in the day as more stuff happens, if more stuff happens. Today is day 15 of the new author experience. My SCP is posted and is currently sitting at plus 5 after 16 hours, which is alright. In my personal opinion, and maybe this is controversial to some, I do not consider an SCP a success unless it gets plus 100. That's over its entire lifespan though, not within the first day or week or whatever. So over the next like five days, I'm going to be trying to push this. I'm going to see if I can get in the top rated pages in the last 30 days so that people have an easier time finding it themselves, to which that would be roughly plus 40. Once it's past that, it starts to become somewhat self-sustaining as more people see it through the top rated pages in the last 30 days. It becomes more known and the spread around a little. I think at that point is a good point to uh, stop. And for the sake of this video, I will ultimately consider this SCP a success if it hits 50 plus or plus 50 within the next 15 days. So what I'm going to uh, do tomorrow or technically today again is I think I'm going to see if I can uh, post it in chat, get people's, get some people there to look at it. I'm going to see if I can post it on the subreddit or any of the subreddits, and I don't really know where to go from there to be honest. I'm not in a whole lot of SCP discords, they're mostly SCP game discords, so that's the only real way to keep track of those games. So this is day 16. So I posted it on Reddit, and I posted it in chat, and I got a few eyes. 
Not a whole lot, but more than none. I actually got some feedbacks from chat that I might implement tomorrow. Feels a little weird to get critique on something that's already posted, but whatever. There was actually a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it vandalism, but like a little snafu that happened with my page. And that somebody who isn't on the technical team decided to give it all of the tags it should have, but they gave it a few wrong tags, and for some reason it marked me as being a translator for another article and that th this article was originally written by somebody named Can't Eat Me, which I've never heard of this person. It seems to be fixed now, but that was weird. Beyond that, I've received a few uh, discussion messages that I would just like to read aloud. Man, I really want to see a continuation of this story. I want to know how this goes. This is currently my favorite SCP this week. I agree, I feel like you could tie this into a GOI or something. Interesting read. And that's very nice, thank you. But more importantly, disgusting, revolting, and horrible. Not sure what to vote here. Body horror aside, it's well written, but it's really not my cup of tea. Gag, I mentioned liquids. No vote, I actually have tea in front of me right now. And good god, this is fucking disgusting fuck. So thank you. I, like, I appreciate both of those. At the time of speaking, the article is at plus 11, which is very good because that means that it will now appear on the top rated pages in the last 30 days, albeit at the very bottom on the second page. Oh, I, I actually literally just checked my wiki dot messages because it said that I had one and the person that falsely tagged it apologized. So that's nice. Thanks. Let me think, did anything else happen today? I just remember the person in the chat that critiqued my work, they actually gave me a pretty interesting looking, I think it would technically be an essay. It is about 83 pages, so yeah. Not a book, but a essay titled Gangs and Guilt towards a new theory of horror film, which he brought because he posited that horror is best done when the good people are not rewarded, but the bad people are not defeated, but get their comeuppance, and that horror is largely feelings of guilt and shame, which I don't think I agree with, but regardless, I think this could be an interesting read. I'll have to try and remember to get to that. So that's going to be all for today. Tomorrow I'm going to try and implement that little bit of feedback that I got. Besides that, I'm not really sure what more I can do to like promote it or anything. So I think I'm going to officially call it at day 20. Yeah, I will completely stop messing with it and trying to promote it. And then sometime after, I will do a final audio recording, maybe day 30. Alright, this is the daily log for day 20, and the reason why I'm skipping so far forward is because nothing really happened any of the days in between. It was largely just waiting and accumulating votes. So, right now my article sits at plus 17, after it's been up for about 5 days, 5 or 6 days. So that's fine. I don't know if I would consider that a success. I would need to wait until it's been up for 30 days before I decide if this is a successful article. Um, I'll add the description or something when it's 30 days after. But for now, this is where I am. SCP-4174, Mother of Many. Rating, plus 17. <sighs> Gotta honestly say, this does not feel like it was worth it. This feels very anticlimactic. Like I put 15 days and then some into uh, working on this for it to be recognized by 17 people or to be seen by like 20, 30, however many. It's somewhat depressing, but that's the process.
I'm also deciding to stop here because I want this video to be done before the end of the year or a little bit after the end of the year. And on top of this, the SCP-5000 contest was just announced like an hour or two ago. Uh, yeah, three hours ago. So I want to work on an SCP for that. So that's going to be my conclusion of all this, I guess. That was the SCP New Author Experience. So, to come to a conclusion, it is sort of but not really an easy process to get your SCP or other article on the site as a new author. It's slow, tedious, annoying, not very difficult but more painful in the same way that needing to scan a thousand boxes individually is easy but painful. If you persist, you can get on eventually, but the keyword in that sentence is eventually. As it took me half a month, I've heard from veterans that sometimes they'll start and finish an SCP in only a day or two. I feel that the biggest issue that showed in all of this is very plainly that you are a new author. Nobody cares if you post an idea, and a lot of your effort isn't on the writing, but on trying to get people to look at your writing. People like Cerulean and Cactus Green see it as being extremely easy because they're such well-established authors. There is no fear of not having people look over their work. And even if they don't, they've been through the process enough time to know every possible critique they could get. A new author needs to fight to get people to care, and they haven't heard critique before, so they're the ones that need it the most. The SCP-5000 contest just started a few days ago at the time of writing, so my next attempt at writing an SCP will be an entry for that contest. I fully expect it to fail, as it would be directly going against Varen writers, and I have no site credibility, but even so, I feel it could be a fun time. Thank you for watching whatever this is. I hope you have a nice day.